it's um, ten past eleven. I just woke up, feeling a bit tired, and I thought I'd start speaking to you about my sister. You see, she went for a CT scan yesterday. It was mad, proper mad. She was like, you could see all the bones on the machine and that when she was getting a scan done. And we come back, we get the results back next week if the tumours have spread anymore. So I can't get over it. It's something that you don't really think about your sister dying, is it? Oh, good. So what should that be? This is my 15-year-old sister, Becky. She's been diagnosed with osteosarcoma, which is bone cancer. You put it on perfect and all, don't you? Sure, you get a geek. We don't know how long she's got left to live. Smile for the camera. <laughs> Becky's got a two-year-old daughter, Courtney. Mummy. Courtney. Love you. My name is Vicky Williamson and I'm 20 years old. We wanted to make a film together to celebrate Becky's life and so when Courtney grows up she will be able to remember her mum. Vicky is trying to move the mattress out of the bedroom. Oh! Oh! Oh, Percy! <laughs> Look at me! Right, we're going now, we'll get back to you when it's finished. And there we have the finishing touches. Got pregnant at 13. I grew up too fast. I got in a serious relationship at 12. And it, it's not good. <laughs> it's not. That's Courtney in her mum's belly. That's our Becky before she got diagnosed. That's her two and a half years ago when she was 13 and she just had Courtney. I couldn't believe she won mine. Do you know, like, do you know when you buy something and it's yours? Well, it will, like, a million times better than that because she were mine and and she were definitely mine. No one else could have her because she were mine. It were crazy. Proper mad. And then I were in the, put me on ward, you know, without babies and that. And um, kept on getting up and looking at her and that, you know. She went little baby girl, what I bought her. Oh, it was mad, you know, picking her up and giving her bits of bottles. and I was scared, you know. Not scared of being a mum, but scared of getting everything right. No scared in case I got it wrong. But it just comes naturally. So I've got to stay happy for you, because if she sees me depressed and stuff like that, then I'll get her upset. So I just act normal. But it's killing me, it's awful. You've got to stay strong for the one, yeah. Me and Becky were both born in Leeds, and we've lived here most of our lives. There's my mum and dad, fixing car. So I've been doing it since eight o'clock and all. Wouldn't have a clue where to start. Mommy. Becky was 14 when she first got ill. It started with a lump in her knee, but the cancer soon spread to her lungs. She's been having chemotherapy, which means she's lost her hair. So she wears a wig now. You? And me? I didn't think it was real. I thought, this can't happen. This isn't happening to my sister. What did you think when I lost my hair? I was gutted. I was really, really gutted. I felt, I felt like I couldn't... My hair in front of you, and that's I felt awesome. It's growing back my hair now. Uh, uh. And then I felt Wait awful. A minute. I felt really awful. Mm. Like sometimes I'd be sat when when you were going through the stage of losing your hair, and you wouldn't take it all off, and it was just matting. And I could understand that you didn't want your hair to grow and that, but like like now when I'm getting ready and I'm in bath washing my hair and I'm straightening my hair and that, 
I feel awful because sometimes I can see you watching me and that cursing me thinking you bitch <laughs> do you know what I mean but I do I feel awful look at me I, uh... we've got the hospital test back today and the doctors say that Becky's immune system is too weak for her to have any more treatment they said to her you know you're not having no more chemo and I said well then how long would I have and he said well I'd be surprised if you were here this time next year so Bobby never said I can't, I can't stop thinking about Courtney now though you know, when she's older and... But... Oh well. Reason to go out to the pub, innit? <laughs> I was thought it would be me that go before my sister. I'm doing this, filming, filming people. It's making me... focus on something, something that's got to be done. That's why I'm doing it, but... keep going in these little daisies where I'll just sit and stare at stuff. But I'm not even thinking now. Ah, Becky says she did it. She does it and it's mad because I was like, whoa, I do that. Here's my feet in the gorgeous sand. We're in Ibiza. Well, we're not in Ibiza really. We're in Bridlington, <laughs> here in Yorkshire. We want to make Becky's town special so we're staying in the chalet for a week. As soon as she saw the dressing gown, she was out. I'm saying. Now Becky's in um, Dad's van, <laughs> pretending to do one. <laughs> Just an idea. Huh? <laughs> Where is it? Becky's locked herself in the van. I'm just starting engine. <laughs> All the things that we take for granted, like family holidays, going to work, learning to drive, Becky's not going to be able to do none of that. <laughs> I swear to God, our Becky is only driving that van, isn't she? It's <laughs> supposed to go that way, love. Mummy's just drove Grandad's van. That's <laughs> right. I kept on stalling it. I said, Dad, why am I stalling it? Twice I stalled it. He goes, Oh shit, sorry, it's in third gear. Mm. She tried to wind me up a few weeks ago. I think I was in bed. And like, I just looked on the dressing table outside. I put this piece of paper on it and it said, My will. And I, I, I was thinking, Oh my god. And I looked at it, it says, I want my mum. To have Courtney, reason, because... No, my mum to have all my clothes. All my clothes and my makeup. Reason, because she's never got no for herself. Number two, I want my dad and mum to have Courtney. Reason. I can't remember what reason was. Number three, Vicky. Nothing. <laughs> reason, because she took everything off me when I was alive. So why should she have anything? So why should she have anything of mine now? And I was like, right. Nine, 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 nine. Right, we're about two minutes away from the beach. By the looks of things, Cocker, we've missed the bloody sunset because I can't see no sun. It must have done it at about six o'clock or something. But we'll take you on the beach and do a bit of um, footage on the beach. Here's the sea, look. Looks like ice and blue, doesn't it? I know we argue like Cal and God, but don't every sister. But if there's a God up there, if you are up there, right, just please help us. Do something for a change. Don't just sit up there and be lazy. Help us. You always seem to take the bad people away. And, I mean, the good people away and leave the bad people up here. There's all these rapists and murderers about that. You don't, there's, no, there's no justice. We're gonna do a little act now. Are we? Yeah, we'll get right. We're gonna pretend to be. Who should we pretend to be? What you want about? It's proper weird, eh? Right, we're doing a little play thing. Wait a minute. We'll get back to you. 
We spend as much time as we can together, especially at night. We stay up late when everyone else is in bed and we just muck about. This is a present. It's special time. It's a right laugh. Fighting. Bad. Woman. All woman. Girl. Bad girl. Bad girl. <laughs> Looking. Finding. 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 <laughs> Swimming. Shark. Fish. Find your Nemo. <laughs> We've been filming for two months now and it's coming up to Becky's 16th birthday. This is the last time you'll see with a bandana on. She's right hair. excited because her hair's grown long enough to have extensions fitted. I don't think so. Give us a kiss. Right, Becky's come back with her hair extensions. Wow, just like a normal self. Just look at the length of that, that's gorgeous. Oh, Becky's just gone to town and get her earrings. And then... It's three o'clock. I'm gonna go get ready at about... four. And be ready for Becky's surprise birthday party. You see, we kept it quiet from you, didn't we? So... We're good. We're really good. Look at me, Len. I'm so glad we were able to film Becky on her 16th birthday. She looks gorgeous, and everybody says so. family are here for her party. Everyone's having a great time. It's something I will always remember. Becky! <laughs> Yeah. It's only been a couple of weeks since her birthday, but it's shocking just how much weight Becky's lost. Everything seems to be happening too fast. I'm gonna go to hospital with her and I sit and I'm in hospital. It's just like, she's just normal, but she just has to have a few platelets every now and again and a bit of blood. You can't get it into your leg, it is actually cancer. It's mad. You see people on ward walking about, smiling, so happy. It's, it's mad. Come on, love. Do you want to get a wheelchair, Becky? No. Do you want 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 a wheelchair, Bec
pants are on. Well, I've got no energy at all. Not at all, not at all. Couldn't even walk up on steps. But I'm going to pass out. Okay, let's see it. Becky has to go to hospital for blood transfusions and checkups. She always wants to talk to the doctor about how far down the line she is. She wants to know how long she has left. You alright? Come? Yeah. Come sit on the bed. Mm. There you go. Mm. Hmm? Yeah. Don't you know? It's nice to see you. I haven't seen you for a bit. Are there things you want to talk to me about? Where I am. In what sense? What kind of thing? On the line. Is that the line? On the line? Yeah. You remember the line? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know where you are either. Okay. You must have some idea though where I am. You see, well, I've got no idea at all. Haven't you? No. But I bet you have. I mean, yeah. if I said to you, how do you think you are compared to two months ago? Worse, well, really worse. But really worse, wasn't yeah. it? Do you? Like you, I don't know where you are on that line. I think you moved along the line. Okay. So, okay. If, if I've moved along the line a bit, where we're at on the line, <laughs> when we had that discussion? Um, I think it's a really hard question to answer. When, when you're asking about what's the length of the line, you're, one question you're asking is, is is what does that mean in terms of time, doesn't it? Mm. And try and judge that. And I can't, I could make something up <laughs> and lie, right? But I genuinely don't know. You still can't say at what point might you happen, at what point might you die, you know? You can't say. So, so what I want to do is to encourage you to do things that you want to do. You know? mm. And if that's watching telly and looking after Courtney, some of the time, as much as you can, then that's what I'll do. So, Okay, mm -hmm. I'll see you soon. Alright. I don't want to know the actual how long she has got left. I don't want to know how many months it is. Bang on. Because I just want to take. I want it to be. Do you know I want to feel like it's low to time left? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always feel like I'm not wearing me a bit of a bad to do. Because women being so loud and that. And I'm thick, me and proper clumsy. I trip up all the time and just I go on about stuff. And then I saw what the fuck did I say that for? Like when I went to the cinemas a few months ago. And I was sat in the car and I went to Becky. I went, oh, Becky. She went, what? I went, do you know when you're 19? I went, we'll go there clubbing. And everyone just looked at me. I went, what the fucking hell? Do you know what I mean? What did I say that for? Hey, yeah. Oh. Smile! You've totally demolished your mother's makeup. Say bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. Give her a kiss. I'm not. I'm not scared. Of, I'm not scared of dying. Do you know? I'm not one bit. I am not scared of dying. I'm scared of leaving people behind. I'm scared of leaving Courtney behind. And I'm scared of what I'm going to miss out on. No, I mean with Courtney and that, you know, when she's older, yeah. and maybe not not being able to see her, do you know, and then often facts what's her first high school day and that, turn it off. Is it back on? Yeah. Right, anyway, do you know, things like when she goes to high school and that, yeah. and I'm going to say go to nursery because she's going like next week or something, but I don't know. See, you know, when she's 16 and stuff, do you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know, that's it. You shouldn't smoke. Oh! Bad for you. <laughs> no, not bad. Oh, well. That went last week. Quit. Yeah. Give me a six then. No. What do you think about smoking now? It causes cancer, isn't it? Yeah, but mine ain't because of smoking. Your boobs look quite big today, Becca. Yeah, do you know why it is? <laughs> it's because I've got a padded brow on you, 
and it's a pair of brow that does not move. So even if my boobs go pop flat down, mm. that'll still keep the shape. That's all right then, isn't it? Mm. And you've got a brow on? Yeah. And I've got a brow on. <laughs> Jesus! Yeah. What brow have you got on? Have you got? <sighs> what brow have you got on? Black one. Are you right? I've got loads of money what I can go out and buy ah! new underwear and stuff. She's just ripping a nipple stickers off. <laughs> Smelling. Uh, <laughs> dirty. <laughs> dirty. <laughs> nipple stickers. But so, I just can't even get out. Well, give me money and I'll go buy myself some nice bows and nipples. Fuck Do you want to die here? <sighs> what are you going to do with my makeup? Sell it. No, I bet you use it, <laughs> won't you? I bet you do, don't you? No. Yeah, well then. No, you won't, because I'm taking it in coffee, won't I? No, Put your legs down. I don't like you talking about it, me. Well, do you know, no, let's just talk about it for five minutes, put your legs down. Do you know, do you think it's right that, don't, do you think it's right that Courtney goes to my, my funeral? Yeah. Good. Why? She did. Why who said it's not right? No, no, it's injured. Yeah. Of course she's got to go, she's a daughter. No, good. Well, I don't think. She's crazy, you're probably crazy. Why? Uh, uh, you've straight got a tash. <laughs> you have your Vicky, you've got a blonde haired tash. Oh my god. I'm a shim. Let me have a look at me. I look, put, I either look like a smackhead or I look like I'm dead bleeding. Oh, Vicky, look where I look. Oh, no, it's just a load of nicks. <sighs> Can't you till I'm either dying or a smackhead? No. Look how pale I am. Look how pale I am. No, Vicky, compared to me. Look at that, that yellow pale. That, oh, that means I'm dying. It means I'm going to die this week. No, it don't. Yeah, it don't. So I'll just get my hair done on Friday. Get away from me, Vicky, not sleeping next to me. Why? And that's flashing, that red thing. What red thing? On your camcorder underneath. It's flashing. It's good we're doing all this filming for Courtney. She'll have something really special to remember her mum by. But it also gives me and Becky something else to think about. Come here. Crazy. I feel like I've had, you know, when you're probably knackered and you've had about an hour in bed. I feel like that all the time. And it's kind of bothered. I can't be wrong at all. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm having a bad hair day, aren't you? Yeah. I'm having a bad lifetime. Bad lifetime. It's two weeks since Becky's last hospital appointment. Even though she feels bad, she still wants to look good. So she's having her hair extensions replaced. It's getting thicker as well. Feels good when it comes out. You feel good? Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you wash it. Yeah. Okay then, baby. Come on, right here. Feels good. <laughs> let, me, let me move this. Okay. It's strange. With her new hair, she looks just like she did before she ever got ill. It's okay, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, any time. Okay? I have to go to the right, Thank you. She's hungry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Oh, I've got to look for that. I'm so glad to get out of there. She looks gorgeous. Oh, I'm knackered. I'm knackered.
We're going back to Scarborough where we lived for two and a half years. Becky wants to see it for one last time. The sad thing is she is too weak to get out of the car. Right up here, me and Vicky slept rough in these toilets one night drunk. Got too drunk to walk home, so we decided to sleep rough at the toilets. Yeah, but sleeping rough for all, like, going on at that time, mm. you know, like... It wasn't anything. Mm. It's crazy being back. Isn't it? Mm. First few days we were living here, me and Mud walked right round, you know, through town, down in Down Beach and stuff. And um seagull shit on me. Straight shit on me back. Fuming. <laughs> I was like, it's good luck that. This is all she used to talk about. This is where Courtney's dad lives. This is where all the friends live. Weird. Scarborough will always be special to Becky as Courtney was conceived here. Becky's always been clear about what she wants to happen to Courtney. She's written a letter and she wants one of the nurses to witness it. I'm to read it out to you again. No, go on. All right then. Instructions from Rebecca Williamson. It is my wish that my daughter Courtney Leanna Williamson is loved and cared for in the following way. She continues to live at home at the above address with my parents Janice Elizabeth Williamson and Adrian Williamson, who will be her main carers. Should either of my parents fall ill in any way, I would like them to be able to rely on the support of my family. To Courtney's father and her parental grandmother, I would like them to have access to Courtney following discussion with my parents, Janice and Adrian Williamson. And Courtney should have the opportunity to decide where she lives when she's old enough to make such a decision. It is my wish that these instructions are carried out to the best of everyone's ability. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, this is Courtney, as you can see. She's got all the toilet roll all down the stairs. She's wrapping it all over. Oh, oh she's down. Say hello to Mummy. Tell hello. her what you've done. Hello. What have you done? Me. Toilet roll. Sorry. Sorry. Do I have to see Courtney no more? I've got no, I cannot. I've got no energy at all for her. It's awful because she's changing proper quick. Really quick. Changing into a little girl. I'm scared of leaving him as well. I want to see what she's like when she's 16. <laughs> To say. It's fucked though, life's a bitch, and then you die, it's true. I feel like screaming. Blocked you. 
don't know when I'm being crying because I've got glassy eyes and blotchy skin and I've got bright red. I will not cry. I wonder what Vicky's going to be like when it happens. She will really tell you how she feels. She just carries on this normal. Acts as if everything's normal. But it's not. I try telling her, but she shouldn't. She just tells me sure. Who's that on telly? Mummy. Is it Mummy? Courtney seems to think that every time the song comes on and Britney Spears, Dad? that it's a Mummy. Gone. Gone. Mummy. Mummy's not gone. Look, she's there, look! Mummy! Mummy! Yeah. Doctor, come. What's this? It could be tonight, not tomorrow morning. I think we're all gonna wrap a man in thinking we're gonna be this quick. One of us is with Becky all the time now. She doesn't want to go to hospital. She wants to stay at home with us. Hiya, babe. Hi, babe. What are you doing? We don't think it's right, Courtney being here. So she's gone to stay with my uncle and auntie. Are you, are you being good? Are you being really good? Hiya, do you want to say, do you want to say hello to Nana? All right, love you. Bye. It's a loudspeaker, so you don't have to put it Hiya, you. darling. Hello. How are you? Hello. Are you fine? <laughs> she left over there like what last time she was going to see her mummy alive. And it probably destroyed me. We've put a baby monitor in Becky's room so we can all hear her. That baby monitor used to be Courtney's. I went in bedroom and seen her. I felt like crying, my eyes filled up, but tears just won't come out. She gave me that back and all. I mean, that's a story. I hated working up yesterday, because as soon as I woke up, I went to my mum. I just looked at my mum and she went, she's still here. And then this morning, I slept on the sofa last night, and I went to sleep till about five o'clock. And then when I woke up this afternoon, my mum looked at me and she went, yeah, she's still here. I'm thinking, you go, Becky, she's probably fighting it. Stubborn. She's no colour, she's grey. She's like an ash colour. And the cheekbones are all black and her eyes have all gone in. She's got a skeleton face. And she's. It's awful. I think it's, to I think it's torture me. It's probably cruel having her to be like that. How she is, isn't it? This is Courtney, mm -hmm. as you can see. She's got all the toilet roll all down the stairs. What's your name? You're from Courtney. I wish it would be because Becky's got a daughter, she's not really. Say hello to Mummy. Tell her what you've done. Hello, sir. Scary. Becky's on them tapes. Becky's on these pictures. That's not Becky upstairs. No. See ya. Oh, bless her. Right, Becky's come oh, back. That's when she come back. Oh, that's stunning. Wow. I'd give out to all that back me. 
I vote to have all that but me. I thought she looked till then, but no. She just got her head on and her okay. extensions and that, it looks so nice. Yeah, nice. Whoa! What's she doing? Do you know when it happens? To put her in one of them. What? I'm not going to say it, she just told me she was. <laughs> she just laughed at me then. You just watch on one for that green light just to move. bedroom where I fell. And she turned round, grabbed me, cuddled me and says, don't let me fall off at bed. Please don't let me fall. And I worked it. And then she wrapped her legs around me and says, I love you. I love you too. Becky died on the morning of the 22nd of September 2004. She was just 16 years old. Courtney will never, ever, ever forget her mum through any of us. She's special and I love the girl a bit. She's never going to forget Becky. Ever. Becky is Courtney. Courtney is Becky. The both same. Hey, darling. Did you fall? Yeah. Can you come and sit with me? Yeah. yeah. Put your panties in your pockets for me. Mummy, you can't go in there yet. I know. See, he's coming in, isn't it? Big pool. Can I have a kiss? Here's a kiss then. Mm, she will What's he doing? See, he's coming in now. Why? Yeah. Is it getting cold? Is it cold? Are you cold? Yeah. Do you like my hair? Yeah, I like it. Shall we go and have a look down here? Yeah. Give me your hand. Oh, throw it in the sea. Throw it. Oh, you throw it. So that's the end of his film. Which I really, really, really miss her. But I can say when Courtney's old enough to understand, I'm going to sit her down and show her all these videos so she knows just how beautiful and lovely and really, really brave a mummy was. One Life returns in two weeks. Rebecca is HIV positive and pregnant. We follow her through pregnancy and discover if Rebecca has passed the virus onto her own child. If you've been affected by any of the issues in tonight's One Life and would like to talk to someone in confidence for sources of support or further information, call the BBC Action Line on 08000 680 661. Lines may be busy, so please remember that the Action Line is open seven days a week from 7.30am until midnight. And all calls are free and confidential.